Hi, today I want to talk about the third revolution led by human beings. I already talked about the first one, the first bio revolution, like the natural selection according to the Darwin theory. And the second is that since we human have existed on the world, we begun to change the environment and build of our own towns and everything. And that led also the second revolution to directly change the environment to interfere with the ordinary revolution. However, the third one is more interesting. Have we heard about the beast in Greek mystery about the chimera, which got the lion body, snake tail? And always devouring animals and humans. And when we talk about this chimera, it's, now it's used to describe a biological term that a species have the two symbols of other species. Take a look at this photo. This is a cavalo, a mixed species of cow and buffalo. And this, this is a llama. It's a mix of the llama and the camel. So that's interesting that it does not only exist in my, our well biological text, even though sometimes it says that it's quite impossible to mix two different animals together, which have the brain very age, but our gene manipulation technology have as well turned this to truth. Just look at of these pictures. We saw the luminous gene in those normal human cells are exerted from the jellyfish in the ocean, which have luminous, luminous uh, characters in the night. Oh, it's, it's easy to imagine the thing in other animals, like the bats, right, and the pigs. And recently, there's some experiment about the protein manipulate gene in monkeys. And we know that monkeys have little gene gap between the ape. And ape is nearly 99% gene like less human. So we would say that we can make the humans and luminous at night. Well, it's easy to see each other, huh? But however, such is a little part of this big landscape. Have we ever heard of last in the 2018? A man in China have alerted that he has successfully made two babies that an AIDS immune. But however, when he, this guy, He Jianghui, when, when he was asked, she, he uh, then confessed that this baby are the failed experiments. They didn't have actually immune from the AIDS, but however, are easily to get other heart disease because of lack of crucial gene. When we talk about this, we have fear of the levity of our biology boundary. Perhaps we previously think that it's the technology of medicine have already helped with humans for 20 centuries, but he is already killing us and not only humankind. Like back to the time of Greek, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, made such role to the world that he must take all necessary diagnosis and treatment, measure of the benefit of the patients themselves. So at the beginning, the medicine was defined to help humans, but not to sacrifice others to feel the part of other people. That's quite unfair and not convey with the ordinary symbol of the medicine. From this such perspective of medical philosophy, 
It's ridiculous for us to try such experiments with human ourselves. The so-called that all cost to survive has reflected how we have made such mistakes to sacrifice others. The ultimate attribution of medicine is that there should not be the over treatment. Well, to be and the human beings in wildness, the out of a true why the why the purpose of life. Or the medicine. If one let's imagine that, if one doesn't want to live for animal, should we try everything to make the struggle on the bed in the hospital, to many pipes in his mouth, stomach, gum, and anything like that, to just make him alive? That a struggle is more worse than death, a simple death. Or maybe should we try an other experiment to turn our human own self in this samples to do on the experiment, and that is obey the whole human beings, the mankind, and doesn't accord with the medicine. So that's all I want to talk about. Please don't rem remember that the medicine is was was being. Was faint to healing us, but not harming us. That's what I talk about.